Hey everybody, welcome back for another edition of PD and P-Dubs Unscripted, and I'm joined by P-Dubs here. Yeah, hey, good to be with you, PD, and uh, we have some guests in the house. We have some guests. This what? is going to be a great day. This is going to be a wonderful day, and one of our guests is all the way from Pflugerville, Texas. Pflugerville. No, not Pflugerville anymore, Austin. Uh, Austin. Austin. Uh, oh, last I knew it was Pflugerville. Mm-hmm. The capital of live music. Mm-hmm. Is it still the capital of live music, Austin? As far as I know. And do they still say uh, Austin weird? Keep Austin weird. Keep Austin yep. weird. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so we are joined today by Cheryl and Sarah White, and Cheryl's a returning guest. Yes, she is. Great yeah. to have you both with us today. Hello. Yeah. Glad yeah. to be back. And Cheryl's like a pro. Yeah. You know, <laughs> she joined you on the one where you guys just reminisced about old times. Old here. Emmanuel days. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, there was probably was. more we could have reminisced. Oh, but, yeah. As I soon mean, as we shut the mics off, I was... Thinking 10, 12 more uh-huh. things to yeah. talk about. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to talk about the old days at Emmanuel. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so we thought today we'd have some fun because Cheryl and I had a kind of a little rivalry in the office between two great Christmas, well, one great Christmas movie. <laughs> and we still do. <laughs> we still have it. It's ongoing. Yeah, so I love the movie Elf as I'm sitting here in the Buddy the Elf costume as I handed out Bibles to kindergartners. Yes. And Cheryl is a big fan of It's a Wonderful Life and was shocked when I came to Emmanuel that I've never seen it before. <laughs> Me too. But I, but we got, got you to we, see yep. it, though. Yep. yep. We did. We yep. did. At the Catlow, which is not open right now. Nope. Yep. Look at, see, it was like history. It was a very historic movie in a you know, very historic place. Right. And look at what your life has been just blessed. It's been wonderful. It's been wonderful since. That's right. That's right, buddy. Oh, yeah, we got Jimmy Stewart here now. <laughs> you know, I know you love your Jimmy Stewart oh, quotes I love from that Jimmy movie. Stewart. Yes, I do. But yeah, so this kind of the joke always became when Cheryl was doing the services. In December, I'd start making elf quotes in my comments. Yeah, right. Yeah, in right. our in our like word word uh, Share, document SharePoint, SharePoint document, and uh-huh. yeah. So yeah, you would always do quotes and call her a cotton headed ninny, ninny muggins. muggins. Cotton headed ninny muggins. All right. Yeah. Sit on a throne alive. Yep. And then sometimes she'll respond back with "It's a wonderful life" quotes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And now that we don't have that ability to do that. Since yeah, Cheryl I mean, it's just not the same when we're in December <laughs> reviewing our bulletins. It's boring and drab. I mean, it's... It's there is no, there, Yeah, it's really, there is no, like, fun quotes going back anymore. I mean, you know. Well, it's probably because the person who took over is doing a much better job than I well, do. Well, I mean, it's just... <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with any of that. It's just... It's just not. It's, it's just not, the, not same. the same. Yeah, that's really what <laughs> it is. But you might. But this year, probably at Christmas Eve at the 11 p.m., you won't have Sarah counting. If there is like a <laughs> and mistakes. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can just sit back and enjoy, and you know, all <laughs> yeah. the pressure will be off. The the first year, every time she saw a mistake, she'd lean over to me and go one. <laughs> Two. You're bad. <laughs> What's a daughter to do? Yeah, right? When yeah. she hit the third one, she had the Mayus are sitting behind us. Jan Mayu took her bulletin and hit Smacked Sarah. her on the head. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> now let's sing Silent Night. <laughs> So yeah, so but now we've continued that tradition by just texting each other gifts of a wonderful life and Elf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Cheryl said she's already got some picked out for the remainder of the week here. Yeah, I gotta figure out tomorrow's, but I think I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday planned. Wow. Yeah, I, I this, just yeah. this is a lot day of, of I just try to figure out what <laughs> one to find. Yeah, we're doing our own kind of like advent calendar with the two yeah. movies. Oh, that's funny. But then there's times I'm like, I gotta go back and see if I've sent this one already. Because uh-huh. I think I sent one. I was like, oh, I already sent that. Unsend that text. Yeah. Well, like you- last night about eight o'clock at night, I'm like, Pastor Donald hasn't sent me his his gift or gift. Which I think is the correct way to pronounce it. GIF, G-I-F. Yeah. Uh, I don't GIF. know, GIF, because it's, what, it's graphic something is what it stands for. Oh. But whatever. It. it doesn't make a difference how <laughs> you say it. <laughs> right. Well, he, I go he, to Sarah, he hasn't sent me his yet, so he's going to owe me two tomorrow. <laughs> but said, you had. But I looked at my phone and then there it was. Right, cause, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I was a little busy. Went visit, made a hospital visit and with the kiddos, so... 
hospital. Yeah, we had somebody in the hospital. Oh, okay. So I went and visited that person and then finished looking at some of the bulletins for <laughs> Advent in this weekend for our Festivus service. <laughs> yeah, come come on uh, December 23rd, 5 p.m. <laughs> It's there will be a there will be a wonderful Festivus themed message. Yeah, the message is entitled "A Generous Gift to the Human Fund" for all those Seinfeld <laughs> peep fans out there. Really? Okay. You know, I are just, you going to bring the Festivus pole? I kind of want to just walk out dragging that yeah. as I come up to preach and put a little, plop it down <laughs> to make a good sound on the it altar. It would be, yeah. But I don't know how well that would go over. Yeah, how I don't many? Know the five o'clock crowd is a big Seinfeld crowd. Yeah, I don't know if it get the reference. Well, so. I don't know. Maybe, huh? Be a lot of, well, I would say probably more our age group. Yeah, could be. But yeah, so what three we're not, o'clock will be older. Probably. Well, this well, is Saturday. 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 Oh, Saturday's yeah, church. Yeah. Oh, actual church. Church service. service. Yeah, because that's, oh, okay. that's actually that's what made me think about doing something in the sermon title Festivus because it is actually Festivus December twenty third, <laughs> and so. But we're here to talk about. Christmas, Christmas movies. movies. Right, because there's a whole <laughs> bunch of Christmas movies. Yes. There are. Mm-hmm, and yes. so, you know, maybe we can go around the room. What are people's, like, top three Christmas movies? Oh, top three. Okay. Wow. All right, who's going first? I can go first, since okay. I know my mine's first is Christmas Vacation. Okay. Then Elf. Then probably the first Home Alone. Mm. Oh, those are good choices. Yeah. All right, Cheryl, what do you think? Of course, It's a Wonderful Life is number one. <laughs> and then I would have to say White Christmas. Mm-hmm. And then I would probably have to say The Bishop's Wife. The Bishop's yep. Wife, yes, that is a good one. Mm-hmm. Harkening good, back to uh, classic classics. Yeah, she's going to the timeless <laughs> treasures. I think Elf is considered a classic by now. It's it tw- is. It's 20 years old now. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's crazy. It's 20 years old. Twenty It's the 20th mm-hmm. anniversary this year. Wow. Well, Christmas Vacation, I think it was 88 or 89. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So that's over 30 years old. Yeah. Mm. All right, Sarah, what do you think? Well, my top one's probably White Christmas. Okay. And then It's a Wonderful Life and Elf. Sorry, All right, mom. okay. Sorry, Mom. Well, you got It's a Wonderful Life in there. I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, now the pressure's on. Like, I feel... I. Is it Gremlins? Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, does it have to... Hmm. I mean, today... What constitutes a movie? Oh. A movie. Is it length or is it... That's a good question. Because I have one. I'm just going to say it. Okay, well, I'm Googling. Okay, a film also called Movies are most, is a series of still... For, okay, that's just like... <laughs> a what technical makes, definition. Yeah, what makes... A film is also called a movie, motion picture. Moving picture is a work of visual art that stimulates experiences and otherwise communicates ideas. But TV shows do that. Okay. I'm so, not finding. So I'm going for it. <laughs> okay. Although uh, it probably doesn't fit because it is a it was shown on TV. So I'm going. Well, there's made for TV movies. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. And, so I'm going for it. First has got to be a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. Got to have it. And then a Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, yes. That's oh. Right. And, then, that and then a Christmas story. I'm oh. going right there. You do love okay. a Christmas story. I do, yeah. And You'll then, shoot your eye out. You'll <laughs> shoot your, I love the Scott Farkas affair. Oh. <laughs> now, and so here it looks like a feature, Squinty-eyed. a feature film runs for more than 40 minutes, while the Screen Actors Guild asserts that a feature running time is 60 minutes or longer. Okay. Well, all right. Charlie well, Brown Christmas doesn't fit. So I guess I would have to say. So I did. Wonderful Life. Wonderful Life. Christmas Story. I do like White Christmas. I do. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll follow the old man wherever he may go. Yep. Wherever he, he may go. go. See, yeah. Um, but yeah. I got Sarah singing the snow, 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 yeah. snow the train snow. song. But yeah, but, uh, so yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think I've actually ever seen White Christmas all the way through. Uh, oh. Here's another short film that I meant to say earlier, but this is even shorter than Charlie Brown Christmas. And uh, Cheryl, you and I, there are two I, of them. There are two of them uh, uh-huh. that I'm only going to name one, and you can name the other. Okay. And maybe Sarah knows. He's Hard Rock, he's Coco, he's Joe. Joe. Yep. Hard Rock, Coco, and Joe. 
and Susie, Susie the Snowflake. Yeah. Okay, I remember Here's Susie the Snowflake. Susie Snowflake. Yep. Yep. Tapping on your window pane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can find the Hard Rock Coco and Joe and Susie on YouTube. Yeah. But there's a couple versions of uh, Hard Rock. So oh, gotta, is there really? You got to find the right one. The one that, uh, what was it? Fraser Thomas. Fraser I Thomas would always play. Yeah, and it was on Bozo Circus. Yeah. Ray Rayner, and then the Garfield Goose Show. Yeah, yeah. Garfield and Friends. So, yeah, I like how it starts out. Oh, the old lady, oh lady, I a Donner and Blitzen away, away, away. See what you're missing, Pastor. That's <laughs> the next. One. We're gonna come over to your house and just yeah. I'm Always bringing the fun. first. If we're coming over to your house, I'm bringing the tree. Okay. And then we're going to crack open all these classics. The classics. Absolutely. I've got It's a Wonderful Life. You have it, White Christmas. Yeah, but that's back in Texas. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm. Where they don't get many White t- Christmas. No. no, they don't. No. no. For sure. But yes, yeah, there's a lot. Because yeah, I knew you loved the Christmas story because we mm-hmm. talked about the Scarlet Farkas. And I'm always a fan of his little brother when he can't put his arms down. <laughs> yeah, his mom wraps up his little brother Randy so much in all of his... <laughs> Winter scarves gear. and jackets uh-huh. and his arms don't come down and she tries to push them down and they pop back up and <laughs> so scott farkas the local bully comes and scares him and, <laughs> and randy he's laying on the snow can't, and get, up. can't get up and, and then the narrator goes randy lay there like a slug it was his only defense <laughs> <laughs> when the boy Scott Farkas came by. Because didn't you know like the whole description of him with like how they described his teeth? Oh yeah. Oh well I don't remember yeah, he was he had red hair and his teeth were yellow and he had squinty green eyes and yeah, he was perfectly cast for that part. Now did you watch the new one that came out like last year, Christmas Story Story? No, I didn't. In fact, I saw that on TV the other night and I'm like, what's this? And it says an adult Ralphie. And I, I just kept going because I'm like, hey, I don't know. All I heard was somebody said that Scott Farkas was like the sheriff of the town. Oh, was he? <laughs> Yeah, I was. I saw that too. But then I saw you had to either buy or rent it. it oh, really? Free okay. On Netflix mm, okay. or Hulu or, or whatever. whatever. Yeah. Prime, platform. whichever one you watch. Well, I'm surprised you didn't say Die Hard. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I like Die Hard. <laughs> I mean, I do like Die Hard, but. I mean, it's, it's not kinda, a top three. Yeah, it's not a top three because that's usually like the first one I watch in my Christmas watching because it's just kind of gets a little bit. It's not a true Christmas like heartwarming thing. I mean, mm-hmm. they do end up back together, Bruce Willis and his wife, and the but it's not like a true like you know like L for Christmas Vacation, Home Alone. Mm-hmm. So you got to work your way up to those ones. Yeah, so. We've been watching a lot of Christmas movies since she's been home, and there's a lot of old ones that they show this time of year, and it may have one scene about Christmas. Mm. And then the rest of the movie is about something else. Yeah. That, is that's kind of like Die Hard, right? Well, Die Hard, it's at a Christmas party. The whole movie is Christmas-based. <laughs> well, as Sarah said this morning, Hallmark movies before Hallmark movies oh, came out. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> it, totally. Well, what you're describing is like when I, because I went up to watch the middle school for a little bit, and I had this on, and then the one kid was like, Step Brothers is my favorite Christmas movie. Huh? I'm like, there's Christmas in Step Brothers? I don't is there like one Christmas scene? There must be or something. Yeah. I was like, I don't think of Step Brothers. I mean, it's not like the joke when I was on Gathering Place looking up Christmas movies where like Gremlins was listed, <laughs> which I don't, I mean, I don't remember watching Gremlins. No. So it's been a while. And then uh, Batman Returns, the Batman with Michael Keaton and Danny DeVito. Okay. Because I think it's Christmas time. No. I've never seen Die Hard. We'll have to see if we can do that. So I'm interested, Sarah, why is White Christmas one of your favorites? Oh, I don't know, honestly. People have asked that before, and it's just, I think, one we've watched every year. Mm-hmm. So just kind of like it's the tradition be- of it. Gotcha. It's just one that you've always done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Miracle on 34th Street. I what watched, do you think of that one? I watched one? that the other day, but Bishop White's wife still beats out Miracle on 34th now, Street. Now, who's in the Bishop's wife? Uh, Cary Grant. Cary, that's right. And I think it's David Niven. Mm-hmm. He plays the Bishop. Okay. And then uh, I think it's Loretta Young plays the Bishop's wife. Really? Yep, yeah, Loretta Young, David Niven, Monty Woolley was Professor Wolthridge. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The old man with the beard. And mm. every time his drink glass would take a sip out of it, it would automatically fill Fill up. back up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. James Gleason, Gladys Cooper. Mm. And Don't know those names. So, so yeah. It has an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. Hmm. Let's just see Rotten Tomatoes Christmas movie scores. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have, that's another one you'll have to watch, PD. Isn't there one called Holiday Inn yes. Yes. as well? And that's I always one. would get that mixed up with White Christmas. Yeah, uh-huh. Holiday Inn is with Bing Crosby and Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. And White Christmas is Bing Crosby and... Danny K. Danny K. Yeah. And then uh, it Vera Miles plays the one thing. Rosemary Clooney. Yeah. And I think the other one's Vera Miles. She was a dancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. every time we would watch it, Dan <laughs> would always comment that they, she was the model for the Barbie doll. Oh, yeah. Because of like, the way she wear her hair and how skinny She has, her like, waist no waist. No. Like a, yeah. It's like a five-size yeah. waist or yeah. something. It was very skinny. He would yeah. always say, they modeled the mm-hmm. Barbie doll mm-hmm. after her. I remember that. But the Holiday Inn, did they sing White Christmas in yes. Holiday Inn? Because that's what the song was written for, right? Yep. White Christmas oh, okay. was introduced in Holiday Inn. All right. So I'm not crazy because <laughs> I for a long time I was like, the White Christmas is in Holiday Inn. And then there's yeah. the hol- yeah. the White Christmas movie, which they also sing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. it's You can tell the year span. If you watch Holiday Inn, Bing Crosby is really young. Mm, okay. <laughs> and then he's a lot older in White Christmas. Gotcha. And, and Holiday Inn, it White Christmas gets sung in the beginning of the movie, and then White it's the Christmas, end. it's at the end. Yeah. I love the the one with Danny Kaye and Bing sisters. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. that is so hilarious. They dress up as two sisters, and uh, oh, they ham it up big time. Sisters. And, uh, yeah. Sisters. It's kind of funny. So what did you pull up so here, Petey? we got Rotten Tomatoes, the number one Christmas movie, because it has a 100% rating, is Meet Me in St. Louis. Ah, with I just Judy watched Garland. another one. Yeah. I just watched mm. that last last night or the night or before you got home. So <laughs> All the, the way night. from 1944 that came uh-huh. out. Number two is from 1940, The Shop Around the Corner. Yeah, which one? Well, there's this ha- this one has Alfred Kalik, James Stewart, and and, and Clara it's... Novak. Oh, I don't think I've seen that. Or one. Margaret Sullivan. Because there's one with Judy Garland and um, the Van Johnson. Yeah, this one is Margaret. Is that about Sol- the music store? That might be the music it says, store. And then there's another one with Jimmy Stewart, mm. and I'm not. I don't remember. But who yeah, this that. is something with a general store in Budapest. But it has a 99% yeah. on Ooh. Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Next one's a brand new movie. Like I've seen, it's got good reviews. The Holdovers. It just came out like in November. Okay. Where it's Ooh. about like. This like almost like from what I've seen from trailers, almost like a dead poet society where it's like high school, like a boys' school set in like the seventies. They all go home for school except for like home for the break, except for one kid who's a troublemaker and he gets stuck with a curmudgeonly instructor, but played by Paul Giamonti. Hmm. And it's got a ninety six percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. I don't I've never heard that one. Like I said, it just came out like in November, I think. Is it on Netflix? No, it was in the theaters. Oh, okay. Hmm. Number four is Tangerine. I've never, 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 never heard, heard of, of these. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. We're not going to talk about the description there now that I look at it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Number five is the 1947 version of Miracle on 34th Street with 96%. Mm. The one with uh, uh, Maureen O'Hare. And, yes. Yeah. Wow, Mary. Cheryl, you really she know these knows classics. The, Christmas wow. classics. the classics. I, I am a classic movie Yeah, person. you know the actors and actresses. This is amazing. <laughs> Number six is from 1993 with a 95%, and it is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. I've never seen that one. That's more the animated. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, mm-hmm. li- like play. play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Number seven is 2019's Little Women. With 95%. 2019. With with Winona Ryder. And Emma Watson, a.k.a. Hermione. Winona Ryder was the older one from like the 90s. This one's like Emma. We saw this in the theaters. 
Oh, okay. Well, there's also the one with June Allison. <laughs> yes, but this and one's from also like three a years version ago. version with Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> So there's four. She knows her Christmas wow. movies. She does. <laughs> I, we, we have the authority of <laughs> Christmas movies in the house. This I, is really great. I'm guessing these next two might not be, though, hers. Number eight is Kloss from 2019 with a 95%. It stars J.K. Simmons, Rashida Jones, Will Sasso, and Yeah, Jason I don't think Sol- she's seen this one. It looks like an animated from the picture. Oh, no. Number nine is Carol from 2015 with Clay- Kate Blanchett and Rooney Mara and... Sarah Paulson. No, don't know that. Yeah. Number well, speaking of Carol, what about a Christmas Carol? Carol, yeah. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. the old 19 whatever, I mean, 40s. I've got that one recorded. We can watch okay, it. Okay, we'll yeah. watch it tonight. This one, I don't know. It's got, it's number 10. It's got a 94%, and it comes from 1946, and it's called It's a Wonderful Life, if you ever heard of that <laughs> one. <laughs> what number one was yeah. that? 10. 10. Ooh, oh, well, made, it just made it into made the, top, in the 10. top 10. Wow. And, well, maybe they're, I know it's not out because this next one also has a 94%. So same Rotten Tomato score, number 11, is Die Hard. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so it is right up there with a Christmas, or It's a Wonderful Life. All right, I got to watch that one. Never this, seen it. This one is more of a TV special, I feel. The Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. <laughs> that's number 12. I mean, it was good, but it's, mm. I don't think it fits 60 minutes. Number 13 is The Apartment. Never oh, heard of Jack that. Lemon. Yeah, Jack, and isn't she it knows Sh- Shirley MacLaine? Yep, Shirley <laughs> MacLaine. <laughs> wow. That has a 93%. I didn't realize that was a Christmas one. Number 14 is The Little Woman One You Were Thinking with Renona Ryder. Yeah. Uh, 15 is Arthur Christmas. So that's a cartoon. Oh, uh, Arthur. He's that uh, from Channel 11 TV show. No, that's not that, this, Arthur. Uh, this is Arthur. something different. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Number 16 is Tokyo Godfathers. What? Uh, <laughs> what? I think that's from uh, the, actor, the people I don't know. Number 17 is Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey with Forrest Whitaker and Keegan-Michael Key. Mm. Number 18, Rare Exports, A Christmas Tale. I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. We're really going off the Number rails Number 19 here. is A Christmas Story with 89% ah, of Rotten Tomatoes. Wow, 19. And that is from 1983. Do you want to feel old? That's a year older than me, that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was the year I got married, 1983. Oh, wow. That was my high school senior year. <laughs> so, <laughs> number 20, I don't know if I really consider this, and I haven't seen it probably since I was a kid, Edward Scissor's Hand. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. That's a Christmas yeah. movie? That's a... Man. I feel like it just came out at Christmas, you know? It like, could be. But that movie He was out. always, like, sculpting... Hedges. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if he sculpted a Christmas tree. But was oh. it maybe because snow, so they assume? I don't know. Yeah. We're going to skip around a little bit. So number 22 is Trading Places. Oh, yeah. That's, okay. yeah. Another one, I've seen this, but I don't remember being Christmas. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang with Robert Downey Jr. and Michelle uh, Val Kilmer. No. Nope. Mm. Uh, Christmas Tale. Gremlins is 25. <laughs> <laughs> Elf is twenty six. Oh, with wow. a, with how a, does Gremlins beat Elf? I'm like, <laughs> well, they both have eighty six percent. Okay. Uh, Batman <laughs> Returns is twenty eight with eighty one percent. Where's the love for Christmas Vacation? A Christmas Story Story Christmas that is number thirty one. You got Bad Santa. I'm not seeing Christmas Vac. White Christmas is thirty six <gasps> with a seventy seven percent. Okay. Uh, still the Santa Claus is number 41 with Tim Allen. Oh, yes. yes. That's a good one. Yeah, Yeah. that's pretty good. The cartoon version of how the Grinch stole Christmas. Oh, that's the other one. The Grinch. The Grinch. Okay. So it must not be an, I bet. No, I don't know how they're doing this because that had a hundred percent and so does Holiday Inn and that's number 43 Holiday Inn. Yeah. Okay. So where where's Christmas vacation? Yeah, the Grinch has to be in there too. Ru- we didn't talk about the classes like Rudolph, Rudolph, and, Rudolph and, and Frosty. But those are are those movies? That's like the Charlie Brown kind of thing, right? Like right. I right. guess They're if you TV would include series. them, I would include them. Yeah. I just oh this one this is a newer one, but I have enjoyed it. It's Eight Bit Christmas with Neil Patrick Harris, oh. where mm-hmm. it's a hum. It says the description is a humorous. Well, let's get here. Where's the description here? Well, it says a humorous, heartfelt look back at an adventure of a childhood 
set in suburban Chicago in the late 80s as a as Neil Patrick Harris' character as a kid trying to get the NES, and his sister wants a Cabbage Patch kid. Mm. And then, you know, his daughter, in the current time, wants a cell phone. Mm. And so he was relaying the story of them trying to get the Nintendo. Gotcha. Mm. I just like Neil Patrick Harris. Sarah and I watched a cute one last night. Okay. I don't know how old it is. It's It's brand new. Brand new? Mm Mm-hmm. Um, I have been avoiding watching it just because I kind of feel about Eddie Murphy like I do Will Ferrell, mm. but not as <laughs> bad. <laughs> and this is with Eddie Murphy. It's yeah. called Candy Cane Lane. Mm-hmm. It was cute. Okay. It was really wow, cute. Wow, Eddie Murphy did a cute one. Yeah, yeah. on Netflix or... I think it was Amazon Prime. Amazon, I think. Amazon Prime. Okay. One of those. It was really cute. We, I actually laughed out loud. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Or maybe it was Netflix. I don't remember. Mm. It's and one one of those. <clears throat> Netflix, Prime, Hulu, we'll not wrap, Paramount. We'll wrap up with two more. Your your favorite, Will Ferrell and Spirited. <laughs> the one with Ryan Reynolds, where I think it's like a musical version of A Christmas Carol. That came out last year, I think, on Apple TV. Mm. And then A Christmas Vacation is 75 with a 70% rating wow, on Rotten Tomatoes. that just doesn't get r- wow. proper representation. <laughs> and then Scrooged is 77 with Scrooged, a 71. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, there's some of those Christmas movies on Rotten Tomatoes. Home Alone's 88 with a 66%. Wow. Man, that has dropped. But yeah, so... A lot of Christmas well, movies. Well, talk are. about laughing out loud when when the two robbers, what is it, Larry and... Uh, Harry, are you talking about Home Alone? Uh, Home Alone. Oh, Harry okay. and... Marv. 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 Oh, my goodness. When they fall and, you know, slip down the steps and, and he <laughs> lands. I mean, you talk about, for me, I bust out laughing. I'm like, those guys are just getting it, you know? And like... <laughs> and then, <laughs> I'll pump you full of <laughs> belly full of lead or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy well, animal. But yeah, and the poor driving by the pizza guy always hitting the statue. Yeah. <laughs> but the question is, do people like the second one? The second one's pretty good too. Home Alone Lost in New York. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah no. See, I'm 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 your classic black and white Christmas movies. I mean, I've been watching a few on uh, T, uh, TCM T- TCM Turner Classic Movies uh-huh. that I've never heard of, but they're Christmas ones. But uh, Dan was one for all the like slapstick. Yeah. Ones. Uh huh. Yeah. That's uh. It's funny when you. It's nice when you come across a movie like I don't know about you guys, but we'll scan, you know, Netflix. Oh, what's a Christmas? And then we'll find one to agree on and watch, and it turns out to be okay. Mm-hmm. Like uh-huh. the one I was talking about at a previous maybe podcast is called the Noel Diaries. Oh yeah, yes. and oh, that was an all right one. It was yeah. a, a rom com, but yep. I mean, uh-huh. you know, I hung in there. I I didn't fall asleep. It didn't and, exactly uh, follow the Hallmark. Like, no, no template. Right. Yeah. yeah, and then the Christmas Chronicles is another one that. Uh, with uh, Russell, Kurt Russell, Kurt Russell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought that was kind of like different, a little I edgy, see, I haven't little seen funny. that one yet either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, well, yeah. I think there's a, a two. I think Christmas. there are two. Yeah, there are two. Yeah. I think I just saw the first one. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot of Christmas when you really think about oh, it. Oh mm-hmm. man, yeah. yeah. Like you could watch one a day. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You could probably spend spend every, your entire day your watching entire them. Day watching oh them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can remember a few years where they would do a 24-hour Christmas story. Right. On yep. The TNT mm-hmm. or TBS. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. 24 hours. <laughs> yep. It started sometime on Christmas Eve and ending Christmas Day. Yeah. yeah. And then I think when you're talking about Black and White, you're not a fan of the colored version of, of <laughs> not, The Wonderful Life. Not necessarily. The yeah. Yeah. The why, why, why mess with the classic? Yeah, yeah. I like the black and white version, too. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, anything else we want to talk about with Christmas movies here? I don't know. I think we hit a lot of them. I mean, everybody's got an opportunity now. I mean, you exactly. you know, like, who are the stars? Just If you're wondering, just call Cheryl. <laughs> yep. And she'll let you know on the classics. I can let you know on the newer ones a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Even though, like, when you think about the newer ones, okay, Christmas Vacation, that's 89. Yeah, it's not new at all. Elf is 
2003. I know. And Home Alone's like 94, probably. And every time you say that, like, you know, you make quotes with the kids in the school here. <laughs> They're like, what? You know, they don't know <laughs> yep. Elf, and well, no, they don't. They know Elf. Oh, okay, like at least some middle school do. Okay, but oh, Home Alone's nineteen ninety. Yeah, so that's wow. thirty three years old. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh man. I thought, wow. So that's only a year later than a Christmas vacation. Yeah, that's crazy. I have a, a, a Christmas movies to talk about. Okay, your home family home Christmas movies. Oh, oh wow. Do you, you guys, guys have any of those? <laughs> not that I can think of. No. No we videos, really, no movies. I think we, we had a video camera that we borrowed one year when the kids were young, when we were still in Fort, uh, in Illinois at Algonquin, and I was filming them, and I had laryngitis that, uh. that year. And so in the background, sometimes you can hear me with my raspy voice laughing or whatever. Uh-huh. and. Um, but I don't even know where that went because it was on a special kind of like More smaller like beta, cassette. Beta yeah. Cassette. And yeah. Uh, I don't even know how I would play it, even if I did find uh, it, you know. So it was kind of one of those. We had it for a while and then it was gone. So, yeah, yeah but nothing, nothing, nothing like that, really. We've got quite a few family Christmas movies. My That's favorite, cool. favorite one is. My brother-in-law would play Santa mm. <laughs> and give yep. the grandkids one gift before we pass nice. out the rest of them. And the first year, I didn't know how she was going to react <laughs> because other times when I've gone to have her picture taken with Santa, she'd crawl up on my shoulder and cry like <laughs> wanting to get away. But you're probably about two and a half, maybe mm. three. And she was the first one Santa called up, and she gave him a big hug and a kiss. Wow, very nice. <laughs> very but good. Yeah, I got a lot of the family home Christmas movies. Nice. Yeah, that is good, yeah. for sure. I don't know. Do you have any PD? No, of not the, that I don't. The young PD household, no. running around with his no, all I remember <laughs> is train just, set. And, no, all I remember is just sitting at the top of the stairs waiting for mom and dad telling us it's okay, the three of us could come down. Uh, and, yeah. And then wanting to play with probably Ninja Turtles or Ghostbusters or that train set you were referencing there. Mm-hmm. I remember we would go on Christmas Eve uh, to the church service. I think it was the 5 o'clock church service. And we would all go, and then when we came back, all the Santa, presents yeah. were under the tree. Yeah, same and then here. we get to like we had to have dinner first, and then open the uh, gifts. So, so I, yeah, I yeah. remember like times like leaving like Grandma's house after Christmas Eve because we'd go to church and go to Grandma's and get her gifts, and then we'd be driving up the Raymond Avenue in Barrington and. My parents or brothers like, oh, look, there's Santa going into that house. And I look at him like, I don't see him. They're like, oh, you just missed him. <laughs> <laughs> so and now I'm just looking up because I, I can still think I still have, I think I got this for Christmas. So I was just looking up to see the year. But in 1988, I still have this Kenner starting lineup of Ozzy Gian. I don't have it open. Well, I did buy it on eBay unopened, but I have the one I got as a kid on my office at the home at the house. Wow. But yeah, so, this, so that would have been, that's. 30 some odd years old almost. Wow. Yeah, that's a timeless treasure. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that wraps it up here. Yeah, thanks, yeah. ladies, for coming thanks in. For it was really, it was thanks good. For inviting us. Now I have a lot more on my list that I'm going to be looking for because, like, I don't know, you get in a rut <laughs> yeah, and you can't remember them all. Oh, but yeah. this has been good to, like, spark the yeah. memory. Yeah, well, I started in the beginning of December to turn a classic movie channel. Just scrolling until I can, mm-hmm. until they don't have any information on all the Christmas movies in the night. Hit record. Hit record. Yeah. But oh, remember, you started your Christmas for watching, was it Thanksgiving on Elf? Yes. I was I very did. proud of you for that. Thanksgiving Day morning, I did sit down and watch the movie Elf. <laughs> the whole I, thing. The whole thing. I have not but, even watched it yet this yeah, year. But that, that was like at 3 o'clock in the morning. What else are you going to do? <laughs> I suppose. You know? Planes, yeah. trains, and automobiles. That's a Thanksgiving <laughs> one. Yeah, that is. <laughs> so, yeah. So, thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you, Cheryl and Sarah, for joining us. And P-Dub's always good to be with you on the yeah. podcast. Great to yeah. be here as well. Yeah. And God's blessings, and hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.